So I just signed into Google Drive and clicked on Create and then clicked on Drawing to create a new Google Drawing. Now I'm going to use Google Drawing to make a concept map. A concept map is a diagram that shows the relationships between various concepts. Concepts are often represented by shapes or nodes and connected in some way, perhaps by arrows, and Google Drawing offers some very convenient tools to help make a concept map. Along the top of the page here are some icons. Let's see. This is a good basic one that allows me to insert a shape, including arrow, various arrow shapes, callouts, equations. So depending on what my diagram needs to contain, I have quite a bit of choice here. Uh, I know that I'll want a basic shape here like a rectangle, so I'm going to start by clicking on a rectangle and just drawing that out at the top of my page. And this will be my first node. And my uh, concept map that I'm drawing here will show some of the relationships within Google Drive. Google Drive is a little bit complex, so this won't be very detailed. I'm just going to show how Google Drive contains both Google Documents and Google Drawing and a little bit about the relationships among the three of those. Okay, so I need to give this node a name and in order to name it I'm going to click on the text box and then I'm going to just draw that text box out in the middle of my node and I'm given the opportunity to type so I'm going to type let's see Google Drive and I'm hitting enter and it centers that right in the middle of my node. Now, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, let's see, I think that that font is just a little small for this. So I'm going to go over here to the top where it says font size and I'm going to select 18. And perhaps I'd prefer that was Arial, or wasn't Arial, I should say. And I'll make that Courier new and bold. So there's quite a bit more that could be done here. Uh, a person could choose to underline the writing, to italicize it, to actually change the color, maybe make it red instead of black. I prefer the basic, so I'm going to put that back to black. And I need to make another node, so I'm going to go back over to Shape. And this time I think I'll select this rounded rectangle, and I'm just going to make two smaller nodes down here another rounded rectangle and in order to show that these are in a sense lesser in the hierarchy of this concept map I'm going to leave those pale blue but I'm going to go back up and change this node to a darker blue so I can go and click here where it says fill color and I'm just going to pick a darker blue and click on it and that kind of shows that those, that's a more basic part of the concept map and that these are the subcategories. Okay, now I'm going to label this node Google Documents. Once again, I'm drawing this text box out in the node and typing down below Google Documents and clicking Enter. And now if you notice that one didn't quite center and it's on two lines. So the way I'm going to change that is I'm just going to click on it, drag it down to the center where I want it, and then I'm just going to gently pull my text box open a little more and it will allow the writing to all go to one line. There, that's the way I want it to look. This is one of the things I like about Google Drawing you can really alter things as you go along or if you see something later and wish you could just change it you usually can. Okay so I need to label this node and I'm going to label it Google Drawings and just typing that in Google Drawings and I'm clicking enter. Okay now I need to show the relationship between Google Drive and Google Documents and also the relationship between Google Documents and Google Drawings. So let me start by saying Google Drive contains Google Documents. Google Drive contains Google Drawings. And I will, if you saw what I just did there, I selected a line, selected an arrow, 
and just drew that then from Google Drive to Google Documents and from Google Drive to Google Drawings. Now I also want to put a label so I'm going to click on text box, type in the word contains and the same here. Google Drive contains both of these. Now it's a little harder to show the relationship between Google Documents and Google Drawings because Google Drawings can be made separate from Google Documents or they can be contained within Google Documents. So I want to show that there is sometimes a relationship between Google Documents and Google Drawings and sometimes not. So once again I'm going to draw an arrow clicking on arrow and I'm drawing that from Google Documents to Google Drawings but I want to show that this is a only sometimes a relationship so I'm going over to line dash and I'm choosing to put a dotted line there instead and I even think I'll make the line color just a little paler I'm choosing a shade below black both of those indicate that that's a lesser relationship between those two nodes and I'm taking this text again and I'm going to type down here sometimes contain so Google Documents sometimes contain Google Drawings and there's plenty more that could be done with this concept map I could add various features of Google Drive even features of Google Drawings and Google Documents draw additional nodes and show various types of relationships using these tools uh, different types of lines different types of shapes perhaps an image that illustrates what I'm trying to say but for now I just want to make sure that I have saved this in a way that is convenient for me to access later right now it's called untitled drawing which is fine um, Google automatically saves this for me as you can see it says all changes saved every change you make is automatically saved last edit was seconds ago but if I go over to Google Drive right now which I'm just going to do to show you it's listed as untitled drawing which is a pretty nondescript uh, title it could be anything so I don't want to leave that I'm going to go back over to my drawing and I'm going to rename it uh, where it says untitled drawing I'm just clicking right there on the words untitled drawing and up pops a little box that allows me to enter a new document name and the name I'm going to enter here is practice concept map and I click OK and now when I visit Google Drive you can see that it has replaced the untitled drawing with practice concept map so let's say sometime later when I go to Google Drive I say you know I wish I had a different name for that because maybe at that point I have practiced many times and I don't want to call this one the practice uh, maybe I want to call this one the practice from September so I'm just going to go right to the words practice concept map right click and click rename and I'm going to call this practice concept map September and that will again identify this document more clearly if I'm looking for it at some future time so I'm clicking OK and as you can see it's immediately renamed and it's easy to find so I think that's it for now have fun experimenting